Valentine's Ark music makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it feels like I'm at a bad rom-con. Like seriously, I have to sit for like five minutes with this this going on. <laughs> of course I logged on at night. Uh, good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Ark. Um, I'm actually not playing seriously at the moment. Uh, I am on our, our goof off server. Um, just kind of goofing off. Um, obviously modded. Um, I am actually just gonna go out and look for some Valentine's Day uh, eggs. Because we're playing with Kraken's Better Dinos and um, we have it enabled so that adults aren't tameable and I just did a dino wipe today so hopefully somewhere out there a Valentine's colored dino spawn and hopefully it has a child I can kidnap. I mean um, liberate. Alright, you uh, actually I do have some enchilada here. Oh you have Legos! Oh, how sweet. But yeah, this is just kind of our goof off server. There's no real risks or anything on it. Experience gain is massive, you know. All the good stuff. Just just a fun time. I'm actually gonna go up here because there's uh, raptors, rexes, and others, oh my, up this way. But yeah, I just figured, you know, after Freddy's kind of flubbed, I'd, uh, spend some time on ARC. I promised you guys ARC episodes, technically, so, you know. We're gonna, uh, finally get to that. There's some raptors down there. Where did they spawn? Did they spawn in this? It doesn't look like it. They're fairly easy to see. Oh, there's a baby raptor, though! Look at that! Look at that little cutie! He's adorable! I don't know where he went, but he was adorable. He barely sticking out of the grass. Wah. I am probably gonna go to the wyvern pit and see what I can. Can Archies pick up Carnos? No. Didn't think so. Okay. But I am gonna go to the wyvern cavern and think, uh, and, and kinda check stuff out. This isn't even really a- this is filler episode for Ark. <laughs> Before any, any, any real thing it happened. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's actually head towards the rivers in the volcano. There's usually some pretty good stuff around here. Uh, obviously we're on Rag. I don't know why we chose this one over Velguero, but, you know. To each his own. Our, our one buddy doesn't like it too much, so. Alright, beavers aren't gonna be any good because they do not lay eggs. And I could probably snag a baby, but I do not have a taming pen set up. And while that would be quick and easy, uh, I also do not recommend. I just kinda wanted to get out. I'll, I'll cut around and, you know, we'll see if we find anything interesting. Mostly I wanted to record this because in my big FNAF blunder, I, I forgot to move- switch my webcams, um, perspectives. Um, but I was talking a little bit about, uh, the game that I am planning. Um, I- so- Technically, what I, what I was talking about was, um, so the main character, uh, or the main, the main animatronic, uh, Maverick, she's actually, I, I'll, I'll tell you, she's actually a porcel, a created porcel, um, and porcels are, um, basically possessed porcelain dolls, um, or possessed, uh, uh, non non biological life forms we'll put it that way um and so we the she's she's the way this game started was i was going to try and put foxy back in security breach 
build new models and everything, you know, and I was, I really wanted to put Foxy in, and I really wanted to have a Pirate's Cove area. And then I was like, well, wait, pirates versus ninjas. <laughs> so I, I kind of repurposed an old OC uh, map. Oh, look at that baby toady. Oh, look at this little egg. Look at that little guy. Look at how tiny he is. Aww. Aww. But yeah, I repurposed one of my old OCs, um, Maverick, and she was- she's a kitsune, so she was gonna be the foil. She was gonna be the ninja in the Pirates vs. Ninjas. And, you know, there was gonna be- uh, I was like, well, there isn't really any room to do that in the Pizza Plex. So I was like, well, okay, whatever, what, what are we gonna do? There's- there's not a lot you can do about that. Um. And then I was like, well, I'll just, you know, white box and build a, a whole nother, you know, wing on the Pizza Plex. And then I was like, that was a lot of work for a game that I can't do anything with. Like, so I decided instead of that, I would. There's my fish tank. Y'all probably see me super blown out now. Um, so I decided that so that I have more creative liberty to do what I will. I would just make a um, make a whole new game. So thus Featherland was born. <laughs> and technically it's an idea I've had before, but um, yeah. I just kinda haven't had the motivation, I guess, to, to work on it until now. Even when we were in the in the depths of the pandemic, I just, yeah, I just didn't feel like it. But now I have motivation, and that mo part of that motivation is teasing my pat. <laughs> All right, I still haven't seen any uh, any Valentine's colored dinos. I did do a dino purge, so there should be some out in the world. Somewhere. Here's a question. Do I think my RG could survive the wyverns? Well, we're about to find out. Well, no, we're not. I, I love enchilada too much. I'm sorry, buddy. I hit the button. I worked too hard for enchilada. Alright. Let's see what trouble we can get into. Sorry, distracted by people walking around outside. <laughs> you guys are gonna find out very quickly. I'm very easily distracted. Alright. I don't see any adults yet. That's never a good sign. Oh, they're way in the back, huh? Oh, I missed horribly. That's okay. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's Tarzan through the canyon. See what trouble we can't get into. Uh, looks like there's a nest over here. Ooh! is indeed. What we got? Ugh! Gross. That's a kibble wiver egg. I hate that so bad. Alright. And it doesn't look like anybody's moving in the depths, so... I did see that one wyvern. Alright. What do we got? Oh. Let's go up there. Nope, nope, nope. Ouch. Oh, here they come. Let's 
I could probably be using metal arrows, but... <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah, as you can tell by the damage multipliers and the fact that I'm not dead, this is not the real-life tweaks I was working on. There we go. Fire Wyvern was really low level, so I do not have whole high hopes for this egg. Oh, please. Oh, that's not too bad. Eat a couple berries. Uh, I believe max level for Wyverns is like 360 or something like that. Maybe four something in the wild. There's a poison wyvern, which isn't great, but I need to be clearing these nests out. Oh. I did a dragon clear, or I did a, I did a dino clear because we were getting so many kibble eggs. Oh, because it's glitched, that's what's up. Why isn't my thingy working? I don't- Oh, I've got a risk enchilada. Cause I don't have a way out of here without my grapple hook. Alright baby boy, let's go. Nothing. Alright. Just do me a favor, okay buddy? Don't dive headlong into the lava like the pterodon did. You're you're a you're a big bird. You should be smarter. All right, let's get out of here. Take a peek around here. Go up the canyon a little farther. There were only two. Oh, never mind. Oh no! Come on. Move, buddy, move! Serpentine! No, 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 no! Oh, crap. Alright. That's not the right button. Yep. Yeah, I saw that coming. That's okay. We've got we've got more eggs at home. All right. That's not the right button either. Man, I panic more now than FNAF. I am over encumbered and I am surrounded. Um, game. Probably loaded down with like tough hide and stuff. Okay. Yes, thank you for flying into wall. Okay. My baby is dead. I should have brought one of the wyverns. I did not want to do that, but whatever. <gasps> I'm throwing eggs! Give! Uh, yeah. 
There it is. Sorry, buddy. All right. Now it wants to work. I should actually probably crawl out of here. I should have gone straight out, not worried about uh, anything else in that moment, but um, yeah, I got greedy. Man, enchilada was my favorite. See what damage we can do. There's oh, oh, okay. Snake spawns in. Falls from from nowhere. Yeah 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 yeah. Stop being so whiny. All right. Maybe we'll be lucky. Maybe 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 we'll have a, another spawn of so several many Valentine's days ago. Like years and years ago, playing rag, uh, we managed to tame a uh, a pink giga, and I'm really hoping for a return of of little Miss Bubblegum, because I miss her. <laughs> Some some dung beetles out here. Let's get a little bit closer to the infield. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, there's an adolescent Bronto. Not a baby baby, but a baby. That stomps like it's a big thing. Oh, it's a high level thing, too. Yeah. Not a bad level. Kinda surprised Mama didn't get upset at me shooting it, but... You're not very attentive, Mama. There you go. Alright. So when I'm back towards base, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens in the meantime. Ooh, red drop, red drop, red drop. Come on, everybody. I just wanna see what's in it. Here. Don't jump off the cliff. <laughs> Red drop, red drop, gotta get the red drop. Alright, what do we got? Mmm, don't like it. I mean, I'll take it, but not great, not gonna lie. See you guys in a minute. The mantises, <laughs> the mantises are almost always Christmas colored. Anybody else ever notice that? They're like always some green and red combination. I mean, I guess it's natural, but, you know, it is what it is. Could almost say that RG is Valentine's colored, but the fact that this one also has a lot of white and, like, yeah, I don't think it actually is. There's too much black. It's not, it's not obviously enough. But, yeah, even, even the color thing says it's, uh, it's browns, so. I don't know how these things work in this mode. Because these are passive tame. I don't know. I'm not gonna try. I don't need one. We don't need water mounts right now. If you're ever playing rag with your friends, this is one of the most metal rich places. I'm sure you already know that, but you know, if you can get an RG with a uh, an Anki or something and just fly up and down these hills, there's so much metal. 
I never hang out down here, so I never get to see some of these areas. But this little spot here with all these wood bridges, dude, I want to live here. Like, live here, live here. Like, this little cove is so pretty. Love it. It's so cool. Oh, is there anything in the water here? I don't think so. No. A crystal, but that's not anything. But yeah, I love this spot. I've, I've, I'm so used to just kind of soaring around rag and not caring where I'm at, but th this is kind of a cool area. Neat. I love Ark. I love Wyverns. Really. Honest. Okay, landed on his own. She landed on her own. Sorry. You dingbat. Here, here's another one for you. Snackies. <laughs> oh, please. I hope, I hope that never happens. I understand it probably will happen on the game, but especially since I'm new to this, and that's why I'm trying not to make it too big, but... Oh. There he is. Come here. Come show your people your pretty face. Hi. What's up? Yeah. Here, I wonder if people can hear Can they hear you? You're purring very loud. <laughs> hey, good break. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, look at you. You're so happy. Oh, yes. You're good to get it. Mommy can't use the gloves right now. I know. Mommy's busy. Me too, there, sweetie. Oh, yes, I know. I know you want a keyboard dance. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Yeah, good boy. Hi. Is that you? <laughs> He's a good handsome man. Who's good baby? Who's good Ganon? Who's good Ganon? Here, let me let me scoot you guys down a little bit so that y'all can see the boy. Maybe. Maybe. No. Yeah. Look at the people. Look at the people. Look at the people. Oh, yes, he gets them good scratches. Oh, yes, he gets them good scratches. Oh, yes, he gets them good scratches. I'm keeping an eye on my wyvern. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, you tell those people. You'll get the best scratches. Spiff ain't got nothing on you, huh, Mr. Gannon? Huh, Mr. Gannon? Yeah? Where are you going? Hi! <laughs> There's a cat butt. Yeah, you showed your people all your big fur. All your big fur. I think Cannon, I think Cannon has decided that this is the end of the line for this, so uh... Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.